Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another rock pooling video where today you find me in Pembrokeshire known as one of the best places to rock pool in the UK so I'm really excited to show you what I found during this trip and if you go on to enjoy this video please leave a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already as currently only 15% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed so please do subscribe if you enjoy the videos but for now let's just get into this video. So the reason I had gone to Wales for a week was to attend a university field course and this gave me a great opportunity to visit a couple of different beaches to try to find some new species I hadn't found back at home. And this video begins in a place called Stackpole Key. I noticed there was lots of these common periwinkles in the pools around here. I only normally come across the odd one now and again. Stackpole Key was more of a rocky shore, meaning that the lack of sediment disturbance made the rock pools here crystal clear. This video of a freshwater eel isn't actually my own. This was filmed by a friend who kindly let me use it in this video as I didn't actually see this eel for myself, which I'm really annoyed about as I've never seen one in person before. Now we move on to the second beach I visited. This one was called Broadhaven. And here's something I was looking for throughout the trip, a new anemone species. These are gem anemones and their tentacles and bright colours look amazing so I was really happy to find them. I also saw a lot of these washed up on the beach. These are known as sea gooseberries and are related to jellyfish. And speaking of jellyfish, I also found a moon jellyfish washed up close by. This common shore crab had seen better days, it was missing an arm and it also looked like one of its eyes were damaged. I came across lots of these shannies in breeding colours and this probably means that they would have been guarding eggs. This species is able to survive out of water for long periods of time to keep protecting their young.
This is a species of Blenny that I've only come across once before, but hasn't featured on the channel yet. This is a Montague's Blenny, and I absolutely love the coloration of these guys. I definitely hope to come across more of them in the future. There was a surprising amount of terrestrial life around these rock pools, including this vibrantly coloured caterpillar. I do hope you all enjoyed this rock pooling video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you in the next video.